things changed since, since the beginning. And uh, it's, I don't want to say it's, a, it's like a color thing because I don't think it's not, but I think it is a class thing in terms of like, who do you know? Uh, did you go to the right school? Mm. Do you, would you go to the right HBCU? Mm. Did you go to the right, you know, predominantly white institution? All right, who, who does your dad know? Who's your mom know? And even still like that now, even yeah. for, my, uh, for my company, we get internships. It's not really what you know. I don't mean your GPA matters a little bit, but who do you know that works for works for this company that can get you in here? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So I just want to go back to um, to saying like I do think it's a it's a class, it's a generational wealth. I think those are all things that divides us. Yeah. Yeah. But just oh, go ahead. No, no, please. But just to piggyback off of him in terms of like getting into these spaces with the who you know. We talk about this process of it being a very small percentage of yeah. who is even in the seat to begin with. So each one teach one is is super important when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, if right. there are only three black executive seats and they have to know somebody to get in, you, you gotta think about how small that window of opportunity becomes for black and brown. Yeah, then it becomes like, like he said, it's like, all right, there's three executive seats and I went to this school, I'm part of this group of people, I'm part of this organization. And like, I'm only gonna pick or I'm, I'm channeled into looking for black people that are part of this organization that went to this school. Mm -hmm. Like, how many people is that? That's like right. three people. <laughs> right. Like, right. so it's like, it, it defeats the whole purpose of each, each one, each one at that point.